So as always, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So let's begin the tutorial. Uh, before you start, I just want to inform you that uh, this particular effect is a bit heavy on your computer. So make sure all other applications are closed. So only DaVinci Resolve should be the application that should be open. Uh, leave everything closed. So the two footages that you would need is uh, your acting shot and of course a clean background. So what you have to do is bring your acting shot on top and the clean plate below. Highlight both, right click, new fusion clip. Now let's come to fusion. Uh, so once you create fusion, this is something that you will have. So let me delete all this merge nodes. Let's create everything from scratch. Now let's view what each of these is. So we'll just drag and drop it to this window here. So this is our clean plate. So let me right click and rename this to clean plate. And this will be our acting shot. Uh, make sure you don't skip any part of this video because you know some steps are really important so if you skip one step you will get uh, lost in the next step okay so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to isolate the subject uh, and uh, if you have magic mask if you have the paid version you can just do magic mask but uh, if you guys don't have it uh, we can do it with the polygon node so let me bring a polygon node like this and let's isolate the subject Let's draw a mask around the subject. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a simple mask, but you can spend as much time as you like to create that perfect mask like this. Okay, and let's join this to the acting. So you'll have uh, the actor separated from the background. Okay, so let's leave that here. Uh, let me move it to this portion here. Now let's work with the particles. For that, what you can do is, there is something called the P emitter here. Bring it here. And if you have a P emitter, you also need a P render. Like this. And just join it like this. And the very first step you have to do is, you know, the render always works in 3D by default. So you need to change it to 2D. Let me view this to the second window. And in the P emitter, the very first thing you need to do is change the number of particles. So the more the number, the more the load on the CPU. So uh, in the very first example, I I have put a number 70,000. But what you can do is start at a lower number like 2000. And then once your node structure is complete, you can uh, change this value to however you like. So now I'm going to put it at 2000 and then under the region instead of sphere I'm going to change this to bitmap. Now let's join this you know from the acting let's join this to the P emitter like this. So it will take it will render out like this and you can see what's happening here. So you have a particle from your uh, acting subject. So this particle you need to create a direction. Okay, you need it to fly out in a certain direction. While selecting P emitter, press shift spacebar, P direction, directional force. So it will create a force to the, to the particles. P directional force will put a direction of 45 degree. Let it render out and you can see it's coming like this. Now as you can see these particles are white. So you need to change that. For that come to P emitter, come to controls. Under color, you can see it's default use style color. From that, change this to use color from region. So it will have the same color of our subject. So once you have the directional force, uh, let me just increase the particle number to a little more so you can see. Uh, let me change this to 10,000. Okay. So you have this direction, everything ready. But as you can see, the direction is very linear. You know, there is no any pattern that is going on. For that, you need to create one more node. So select P directional force, shift spacebar, P turbulence and press add. And under turbulence, you need to change the X strength to 0.2, the Y strength also to 0.2 and the Z strength to 0.3 and the density to 35. 
so you have almost everything particle node ready now let's get to the fun bit that is for the animation you need to draw in a mask so first what i have to do is you know let me arrange the node okay bring in a polygon node draw a big shape that shape is going to mask out the subject and you know and convert him to dust so for that let's draw a mask a big circular mask such that you know it will cover your entire subject so i'm going to draw a big circular mask like this and make sure the solid is not checked then press control c and control shift v so it will create an instance node so for example if i increase the size you know it will also let me move this to screen second screen the instance node does is whatever adjustment you do on the polygon node it will also apply the same settings to the second node also if i do the reverse like if i go to instance node and play with the size it will also adjust whatever is happening in the polygon tool so let me reset the size okay so the only thing you need to de instance from this node is the border width so for that what you have to do is uh, right click border width de instance and increase the border width to something like this and also soft edge to a little bit now why you are doing this mask is like uh, in simple terms as i move this mask like this that's when the subject starts to disintegrate so you're leaving a slight border width here in that border width uh, the white portion the subject is still visible and it's only in this black the subject is completely not visible so that is why you need a bit of border width here let's reset the position of this one okay and now we need to merge these polygon nodes to your uh, main node for that let me bring in a merge node and to the merge node you have the the background that is a yellow color and green is the foreground so you need the main polygon to go to the background and from the instance node it will go to the foreground and under merge you need to change the setting in the operator from over to xor okay now you have the polygon ready but you need to change this polygon to an image you know for further controlling so now it's just a mask so you need to change this to a image so how to change a mask to an image it's simple just press shift space bar bitmap anything involving bitmap you know it will convert whatever it is to an image so now if i join this now this will be an image okay now uh, let me move this node here like this now you cannot join bitmap here like this now to join the bitmap to this node you need one no extra node here in between that is called the mat control okay so you will join this bitmap to the mat control now you have four arrows where you need to join you need to move it to here this is called the garbage mat so you need to move this node let me move it here like this you need to move this to the garbage mat like this and select the mat control expand the garbage mat and press invert okay so now let's begin the animation of the polygon going to the subject so let's select our polygon node let me change this to fit okay so in this particular frame let's put a keyframe on the center at frame around uh, 57 and let me move this out of the frame like this now come to maybe like uh, 90 or 95 and then just move this polygon like this such that it's covering the entire subject make sure nothing is close to the line you know keep a distance between the lines and uh, make sure the subject is completely covered 
now as you can see already effect is starting to take place so now all you have to do is you know just join this to the media out like this and let's view the media out in the second window now we have the clean plate here now let's join our clean plate so you know the clean plate should be at the background and these effects should be in the foreground so once you connect this here to the output you can see that you know this green arrow means the foreground and the yellow is the background so you need to reverse this so you can do right click swap inputs or you can you know just manually disconnect so the clean plate should always be at the background and this should be in the foreground so now you can see the effect is starting to take place there is no subject here so let's copy our acting and the polygon node and paste it here and also join this to our render node now as you can see the effect is there but even after the particle is going we are still in the frame so for that what you have to do is you know just copy this polygon node and paste it here and join this to the mask input of merge 3 and you need to make sure in this particular polygon node select invert and solid now if i hit play this is what you will have Now once you have the node ready, you can come to P emitter and increase the particle size to whatever you like. So in summary, let's go to the nodes one by one. We started with the acting node, we separated the subject. Then what we did is we brought in uh, the particle P emitter and under P emitter we changed the number of particles, also we changed the a region from sphere to bitmap then we brought in p directional to make it go 45 degrees then the p turbulence you know uh, instead of going it in a linear line we add in a bit of turbulence and change these values right here and anything related to particle we need a p render node but p render is by default in 3d so you need to make sure it it is switched to 2d so that is the particle part then for the masking you have a polygon node and you also have an instance polygon node which retains all the characteristics from this part, this polygon but except the border width uh, as you can see here there is a slight uh, border happening here uh, then we merged it and we need to change this to an image so we gave it to a bitmap and to connect the bitmap to the main node we brought in our mat control we connected this to the garbage mat here and under garbage mat we made sure the invert is checked on once everything is done we join the render to the output and we join our clean plate so in clean plate make sure it's into the yellow line and it's the background so once we have that then you brought in uh, our actor you copied and pasted it here and also the mask right here is also brought here so if i hit play this is what you have you can see the mask doing its animation here so i hope you guys learned something from this video make use of these tutorials you know to elevate your videos to the next level if you guys want to see any specific tutorials, uh, just do let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to try them out and teach them to you. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.